Welcome everybody back for some more Tom's Kingdom. Of course, in the last episode, we found one of the best mine shafts that I've ever found. We got some amethyst shards because we found an amethyst geode, and right next door to that amethyst geode was a skeleton spawner. So, there's a couple of things that I'd like to get done in today's episode. That is number one, a villager breeder. We shouldn't take too long to construct. It's just going to be a simple one for now. Um, it's just going to be uh, like a pod for them to uh, be in. And I can just throw them like carrots and bread and stuff like that. So that they can start breeding. So I've got our two villagers here. Unfortunately, Frederick or Freddy or whatever. I, I can't remember what I called him. But he unfortunately did turn into a zombie and die. But these guys are in here. They are safe in there for now. The first thing I'd love to do in today's episode is go get their third and final villager from that village. And uh, hopefully, I was a... Uh... Oh, and before I forget, they have added some new stuff. It is the Tales and Trails one Minecraft 1.20 update. So as you saw with the book, we now have Bamboo. Uh, wood. I think we do. Do we have bamboo wood? I think we have bamboo stuff. I can't exactly remember what's in the Tales and Trails update. I shall see if I can find that out for you during this episode. But we're going to head over to um, the village now to grab the last, the third and final villager. We'll also sleep over there and uh, head back in a moment, back to the uh, new base camp, and we can get started on today's episode. And here we are, sleeping in the original village. Now, I don't know where that village is going to be. Oh, I found it. Never mind, never mind. Hopefully this one behaves. Should be able to just do a bit of that. Yep, I think this is the last villager in this village. I'm almost positive of that. And these guys will be, of course, oh no. I was on like the path, so it didn't work. So we'll head back to the other village, and I have just remembered on the way over. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take this guy over to that shipwreck that I saw in the previous episode. I believe it's on this island over here. I remembered it like on the way over to collect him. I was like, there was a um, there was a there was a shipwreck. And I wanted to go and find the treasure to find the heart of the sea so that we can uh, look at getting a conduit. Could be interesting, could be fun. Um, what's this over here? There's also a new mob in the game. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to find him today. But and I don't know if I have to travel like 20,000 blocks or something. But I'm definitely not going to be able to travel 20,000 blocks. But here is the shipwreck. Please stay there, dude. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've done a shipwreck. So I'm not sure what they've got in them anymore. So. Ooh, smithing template. Ooh, this is the new, the new update stuff. So armor trim. They've now got armor trim for stuff. I wonder what the suspicious stew is going to be as well. Oh no, it's raining. It's giving me poison. That will teach me to eat stuff from a chest. Right, so none of that other stuff in there is actually any good. And this is the front of the boat. The back of the boat is over here. But I don't think there is any more 
Uh, what is this? This is obviously what those dudes were like. I need to get to that magma. So obviously when they came in and they crashed their ship, they obviously were coming down here. That's cool. I like that. I like that terrain. Obviously that's probably not exactly what I mean. It's just like how the whole boat generated in, but still kind of cool. Anyway, let's head back to base camp with this dude. Remember, don't eat suspicious stew that you don't know where it came from. There's more islands out here, actually. More islands than I thought there were. I kind of want to go and explore more. I'm getting so distracted. So, so distracted. But we'll, we'll go for and explore. In fact, actually, the more we explore, the more we might find that new mob. Okay, I don't think there's anything out here. Let's head back home. It's raining. I'm getting wet. I need to go sit by the campfire, which obviously doesn't make any sense why the campfire would work, but it's time to go back to base. And it's just over there, so we are not too far away. There's a couple of things that I'd like to do. We need to get some material together. Um, first of all, um, this guy needs to... Um, he should be okay in the boat. He really should be. But he'll start heading his way up here. Uh, we'll put down a... What's this? A brush. I wonder what that's for. There's so many things I need to learn, but I've, I've built, I've made a brush. Um, we'll go back to craftable items. Um, a lightning rod. So don't know where that guy just went. We'll make a smithing table for him to go here. So he'll par fine to that. What armor do I need? Trousies. No, I need boots and a helmet. Lovely. Here is the guy. He's going to pathfind to it. Good. It makes him a smither. Cool. Uh, we'll get the iron out of there. We'll put that in the chest. Um, we need another bucket. Of water. Let's go grab some more water. Let's make an unlimited water source. We've got so much to do in today's episode. We've got to make some new farms. We've got to make sure I don't die. Did I have bring potatoes? Could let's cook the let's cook the raw mutton on the fire. Not sure if it's night time or not, but I doubt it. Right, so Let's make the unlimited water source just here. Right, so for this farm we need two water buckets, one trap door. We need to throw a bunch of our stuff in a chest as well, so we'll build two new chests. Come on top. It's gonna be a chest monster for a little while, but I'll fix it at some point. Just to clear out the inventory here. I don't actually know what those are for. Like, what do they do? Okay, so if I do... Okay, this is cool. Right, so let's do the chest plate. Chest plate, scroll, and add iron or crystal. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Crafting a new look. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I also have another one, so we might as well. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
There's obviously like a bunch of different variants and stuff as well, so we can explore what that's like as well at some point. So we need a wooden trap door, so we need some more wood. That villager is going to get himself killed, isn't he? We'll put a bed down for him. But let's get ourselves some wood. Hopefully that's not all the wood we got. Yeah, I think it is. It's time for a wood cutting montage. Right, that should be plenty of wood. No, not very, not very much, but so we need a we need six torches. Um, I think I have torches in here. So six torches. I need a trap door. One trap. That's not a trap door. That's a pressure plate. Need a trap door. So I need six torches. Trap door. I need two water buckets. I need 15 ladders. That's not how you make a ladder top. This is 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 15 ladders. And one hopper and one chest. So hopper is obviously iron and a chest and I run out of wood. Great. It would be the one thing I just went and got and I've run out of already. Right, more wood cutting required. It's a good job there's like a forest over here. I need two chests and a hopper. Okay, now sleep. Right. Two chests. And kits. It's five iron for a hopper. We go that's all the materials we require at the top there and uh let's begin the building of this thing
So, that is the farm basically completed. Now, I kind of didn't realise that I would fall in a great big pit down here. So, there is a small issue with me getting out of here. Um, and that is that I don't have um, enough material to create, uh, create, to make an iron pickaxe. So what I'm going to have to do is make a couple of stone ones, head back up to the surface using stone uh, pickaxes. So the actual answer to this question is, um, where do I want to have it up? Because this is obviously where the ladder's going to go. Which is why I needed a ladder. And hopefully I'm going to come out into the farm. And then obviously the, the trap door. Oh, it's going to take forever. Because not only am I burning deep slate with a stone pickaxe. Luckily I do have to only go up like 10 blocks or something. But... There we go. And then we can use the trapdoor that we've got. We can go in there like that. That will allow us to get down to the killing chamber. And essentially how this is supposed to work is you take out all of the torches, uh, including the one that's on top like so. The skeletons will spawn in, fall down the hole. Um, I need to find my hole. Come on. Oh no. Oh no! Why can't I get down here? Basically, you're supposed to be able to go down there. Skeletons spawn in. You are... safe in this little hole, but it's not letting me in. There we go. And now I've messed it up again, I'm gonna die, great. Actually yeah, that's a good idea. Now I'm up here, I can get myself a stone pickaxe, which is not exactly what I wanted to do, which is to die, but it will allow me to get myself a iron uh, pickaxe, two actually. Once I'll do two of those. Um, then we shall go back down, make sure these villagers are still alive, good. And we can go back down and stuff. So as you can also see by that time lapse, I messed up the farm uh, a lot, basically. Come on, torch. So I should be able to go in here, right? But for some reason, it doesn't. Let me. Or it lets me for like the shortest period of time and then it doesn't let me. Wow. Just... But if I go in there and I'm in the killing chamber, you see? Right, let's get out of there. So yeah, basically, then the monsters will spawn at the top there um, simultaneously. I will have to light up the whole cave that's sort of underneath me. But uh, other than that, this is done. Um, we shall now get 
basically loads of bones and stuff, but because it's in, because I obviously fell down here, and there's a massive cave, yeah, I have to light up this whole thing for this farm to be anywhere near uh, useful to me, and obviously we did die, unfortunately, that's going to be a fun one for Morgan to edit. But yeah, just because, um, actually, I think the whole idea is you go up here, obviously you shut this, you wait here for a bunch of them to spawn in, because obviously you're then far enough away from the other stuff, but then obviously the farm doesn't think, oh, you're going to be really close to a different, uh, well, the, the, the actual thing doesn't think you're going to be in. A massive cave. Oh, it's close. Well, we'll have to explore down there though, because that looks fun. That looks fun. But for now, this farm is finished. Um, I will be turning it off like that. And yes, I did build it technically wrong um, because I did build it one block off. But for now. This is finished. I'm going to quickly just climb my way back up. I will have to dig back down, of course, but eventually we'll get a, uh, a nice little water thing that goes all the way to the bottom where the killing platform is, and then we can do that the other way around. But for now, I'm just going to build up like this because... <laughs> I tied way too much in that to building that, and I kind of got upset with it as well. I don't even think we have enough material to get back up. Oh no, we do. Oh yeah, plenty. So that's going to be our way in and out of the farm. The next thing we need to build for today's episode is obviously that villager breeder. There's a couple of things that I want to do first. Obviously we need four beds because one of them is of course mine. And the other ones are theirs. So here is four beds. That's obviously done for everyone. Let's get ourselves that stone axe and get in here and do this. Take this tree out. Well, that's the rest of my that's the rest of my material done. Let's do two more beds. Like so. So that will be enough for exactly what I want to do. Next thing to do is do a temporary little, a very temporary little farm. With some carrots and potatoes. Oh no. There they are. Very temporary farm with those. Um, we can then feed the villagers in here. Um, some carrots. And they should, should start breeding. Uh, they might need more than just that many carrots though, so... I think we're going to do that in the next episode anyway, because I just, I died way too much during that other farm, but the farm is actually complete. I just went in the fire again. The villagers will start breeding at some point. Right. That's that. That's that. 
that's that. Let's chuck those in there for those two. They should start throwing it at each other, and then we can maybe have to get out of that way so they're not looking at me thinking I'm on a trade with them. They might not like. Oh, hello. Oh, puff a fish in a bucket. Not helpful to me right now. Your lovely leads are helpful. I'm not really sure why they're not breeding. Um, maybe it's just because they can't see the beds or something. They are transferring the resources and stuff around, so... Hopefully they'll start doing it in a moment. But, yeah. Or I've just completely forgotten the whole villager mechanic thing with uh, trading and then babies, or they changed it all entirely. But, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I know it was a short one, and all I really did was I could do that farm down the bottom of that water tunnel. And, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Um, we also got some leads, which is actually kind of cool. Um, we've got a temporary little farm set up. We keep walking against that fire. Not great at all. Let's uh, quickly replant some trees. We looked at that shipwreck. Unfortunately, there was not a. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a map in it, so we couldn't go treasure hunting. But I'm sure we'll we'll find some more stuff to go treasure hunting in the near future. Hopefully now I've left these guys alone for a little while. They have now decided they want to have a baby, but probably not. We have a, we've made a skeleton farm in today's episode. Obviously we changed my armor and everything as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Nonetheless, obviously all I did was make a skeleton farm and uh, sort of have run out of time for video time anyway. So yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Minecraft and Tom's Kingdom. Obviously today the only real thing we did was kidnap one other villager who is running away from me because he knows my plans for him. And obviously make that skeleton spawner underground. And we fell into a massive cave which we will need to explore in a future video because we need to go some torches and light that thing up. So that the skeleton's farm actually works to the full potential. We also can look at going into the never in the next episode. So we're going to go diamond mining. I've sort of given up on the villagers and the villager breeder. I've realized that we don't really need the villager breeder at the moment. Three villagers are plenty enough for now. Just probably should sleep though because um, if we don't, that, that lone villager will die. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys next time because we will be going diamond mining and searching for diamonds and potentially going to the nether. But let's have a short little nap. We did die by shoot by a skeleton. And uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hope to see you guys next time. Good. Bye. <laughs>